Hello everyone and welcome back to part 12 on how to make a Friday night fucking game in Roblox. Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 3k subscribers. I really appreciate that and yeah, let's start. So in this video, I'll be fixing a bug that really annoyed me and that's okay just to fix. So here's the bug that I'm talking about, that I'm talking about, sorry. Uh, so if I go ahead and run the game, everything works fine. It's all good, but then, uh, let me just, uh, firstly mute so I don't get copyrighted again. When I join the game and play it normally, I realized that if you go ahead and go on the first microphone and then when the other player joins, It will say this. So it says started, but the problem is when you go ahead and leave the game, if one of the players leaves the game, the round still goes on. And that's a problem because I don't want this to happen in normal game. So to fix this, all we have to do is inside of our stadium, we're gonna go inside of the first mic, we're gonna add an object value and we're gonna rename it to uh, occupant. So rename that to occupant and you wanna duplicate it, put it inside of the second mic. Now you wanna go inside of the battle script and in here, we're gonna do script.parent.first mic, uh, dot first mic, dot um, occupant dot value is equal to player. Now you want to copy this, paste it here, and then you want to change, oh, I spelled it wrong, so it's two C's, I just realized that, but that shouldn't be a problem, I just gotta copy the name, update it in here, format this document, and that should work. Now, what we're gonna be doing is, uh, play the game and see what will happen i'm just going to test it with one player and if i go ahead and run the game mute and see what happens when you go there so in here if you go to the stadium to the first mic which i'm going to approach right here press start it says occupant polaris Prague, which is the player so what we're gonna do is when the player leaves the game that value is going to be set to nil but the problem is the object values even though it's set to it still says play, the name of the player and uh, but when you try to print the result it says nil and the way i go around that is by checking if the parent of the value is set to nil so if they leave it's probably going to be set to nil so inside of the main client script, we're going to scroll all the way down and in here, until finish is equal, equal to true, you're going to put an or game, uh, or, uh, I mean or stadium dot first mic dot occupant dot value uh, dot parent is equal to is equal equal to nil or uh, stadium dot first mic the uh uh so we're gonna check if the stadium is set to nil or stadium dot first mic dot occupant the value dot parent is equal equal to nil and we're gonna change this to second mic so when i change this to second mic dot occupant and let me just do something real quick so that should be it so after this we're gonna print finished just to see if it will end the game. So it should end it if we go ahead and play the game and that value should be set to nil, I think. All right, so I'm going to firstly put this here and that here and view my output. Zoom in and play the game, make sure I'm muted. and that should be it so i'm going to view both outputs and see what they will print so i'm going here then here 
and this player will leave or else just choose any player so i'm going to leave oh okay so that's kind of a problem or stadium dot first mic dot occupant dot value dot parent okay i get it or um so i think i'm going to create a variable hmm i'm pretty sure we can do something else oh i get it so we will remove the we will convert the occupant value to a string value so you just want to add a string value so i'm really sorry about that rename it to occupant and remove the old value so let's do the same thing here and instead of this set it to the player dot name so instead of this or stadium dot that is equal equal to nil we're gonna do or stadium dot first mic dot microphone uh the first mic dot uh occupant dot value we're gonna copy that line of code or not game dot players can find first child and that or not game dot players can find first child uh find first child and that but we're gonna change this to the second mic this time now we will retest the game with two players and see how that looks so i'll just run the game and see if it will work or not and i don't know why but i'm gonna have to remute again i don't know why my volume does not save i think i'm gonna have to do that from roblox this time which i will do in the next tutorial so i'm gonna go ahead and play the game just normally and see if it will get that error again so it does not error this time oh let's try to leave the game oh yes it did end the round hmm well let me view the output i think i mean the explorer and the properties and i will go to the workspace select the stadium go to the first mic the occupant okay i get it so the value did not change that's what the problem was but but that's actually pretty simple to me to fix so in here we will set the first mic second mic oh that's the problem you gotta change this to second mic the occupant dot value is equal to player dot name uh, yes i'm pretty sure that's gonna work so i'm going to just run this uh do that make sure i'm muted play the game go here and let's see if the value is changed so if i go to the second mic or the first one i think that's the first one the value is set to polaris prog let's go so that does work now i'm pretty sure if i go ahead and play the game this time it will work perfectly it should print finished when the player leaves the game So I'm going to view both of the outputs as always make sure I'm muted for some reason I'm not even though I just muted it's getting pretty annoying 
That's what I hate about making a rhythm game. Series. It's just so annoying. So, so let's see if it will work. So we did not print finished, but when someone leaves the game, that's the moment of truth. Finished. Great. So we just detected if the player leaves the game. But then we still have a problem. We need to stop that animation from playing and instead of just printing finished, we gotta actually end the game. So we will go to the... Uh, and also in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to display the score of the other player in the screen and your score and make an actual accurate uh, score representation. So, as you can see, we have a problem. We need to end the game. Finished is equal to true and idle can stop. So you just have to end the idle animation, which we'll do right here. So just do idle can stop. And then what you're gonna do is song can stop. So we're going to end the, the song and then what we're going to be doing after that is basically just copying this, pasting it right here and changing all of these values to false. And then we're going to change the game status text to basically, uh, let's change it to round ended so round ended round ended and then we're gonna wait five seconds or maybe two and we're gonna set the game status text to basically nothing or you can just make it invisible but for me i'm just going to change the status text to nothing so we end the song we change that and yes we're gonna have to set the camera camera cam dot camera type is equal to enum dot camera type dot uh, custom now if you go ahead and play the game it should uh it should actually end the round In the next video, I think I'm going to try to make as much progress as I can because I really want to finish this series and work on the um, uh, on the Arsenal series, which is very interesting because I really... Oh, 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 I forgot to mute. I forgot to mute. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to play this. And as you can see... It will do that and let's hope that it will end the, the the round so please end the round okay so that does work just fine now we just gotta change the walk speed which is very very simple just gotta put uh character can wait for child humanoid humanoid the uh, walk speed is equal to 16 which is the default walk speed and i think that's going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and before we end this tutorial this tutorial we're gonna test this out and see if it will actually end the round it should end it i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna make sure to mute mute or oh, oh uh, yes like that and we will go ahead and play the game so if i go ahead and end the round by just leaving this it should say round ended and then now i can walk but i can't jump <laughs> So, uh, I, I don't know how I forgot about that. All we have to do to fix this is just set in the... It's just copying what we did with the end button. So, 
Oh. That's it. We just gotta fire the... And the lever thing. Okay, so... Instead of doing this, just change the... Just do game. Start to get a storage dot... Remote dot leave con fire uh dot leave con fire server and we will send the stadium and if you go ahead and test the game one more time it should work so let's see We will go ahead, mute, do this, and play, and do this for one last time. Alright, so we're going to leave the game, wait for that, and we should be able to walk. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!